I'm Anil Kumar and now let's look into rational numbers in more details. Question here is, are all decimal numbers rational numbers? Explain with examples. So let's take some examples. Let's say if I write a number 2.0, it's a decimal number, yes, but it can be written as 2 over 1, right? So you can write it as an integer divided by another integer. So it is a rational number and you're dividing by a number which is not zero. If I write 5.1, I can write this also as 51 over 10. So that's the natural way of writing a rational number. Rational numbers, as you know, are numbers which can be written in the form of a over b, where a and b are integers, right? And b is not equal to zero. So that is a restriction. Now any decimal number like this can be written as a over b where b is not zero. How about a number like 1.7 recurring? That is to say how about a number 1.777 like that where a decimal repeats. As you will see in few examples we can write this number also as a over b. Let me show you here. Let x equals to 1.7 recurring. So that bar on the top <coughs> indicates that 7 repeats. So what is 10 times x? 10 times x will be 17.7 recurring. And how about 10 times x minus x, that will be 17.7 recurring minus 1.7 recurring, correct? Which gives us 17 minus 1 as 16. After decimal, all those 7s, they cancel out, correct? On the left side, we get 10 minus 1, which is 9x, and therefore, I can write x as 16 over 9. Now that is in the form of a over b where b is not 0 and that is a rational number. right? So this kind of decimal number can be written as a rational number and therefore it is also a rational number. How about if I have a rational number or rather if I have a decimal number where it does not repeat for example 7, 2, 4, 3 something something like that. Now, for such a decimal number, we cannot write in the form of quotient of two integers. So these decimal numbers, which are non-repeating decimal numbers, so non-repeating decimal numbers are not rational numbers. Since we cannot write them in the form of a over b, right? They are not rational numbers. So th these are exceptions to the rule. And now you learn that another set of numbers, the real numbers, will include these numbers. Correct? So here we learn that almost all decimal numbers can be written in the form of quotient of two integers except for those which are non-repeating decimal numbers. So non-repeating decimal numbers are not rational numbers, but the other decimal numbers are. So that is how we can conclude and understand our decimal numbers relation with rational numbers. Thank you.